now that you get the idea of how to apply materials and edit the shaders and things I've already gone ahead and I've done the outside buildings you can see we have these background buildings that are just part of the background the player never actually uh, is allowed to go back there so let me start to apply the materials to the outside of this warehouse so I'll start with this wall over here this wall has two materials to it um, that's basically because two materials were applied in a 3D program that it was created in so what I'm gonna do with these walls is See, I have an exterior wall A, uh, 309, and exterior wall A, 275. For this, I'm going to need a diffuse map over here, and I'm going to go with maybe a, maybe a bump specular would work out pretty good. Let's try that out. And if I increase the size of these thumbnails, I can just scroll down. And the texture I'm looking for is probably going to be this one right here. Uh, this warehouse exterior wall A, A1A diffuse. So I'm going to double click on that one. There it is. It applies it on the bottom. And then for the other one, I'm also going to go for bump specular. And that one is going to be, we go to the asset browser over here, scroll down. That was going to be the warehouse exterior wall A2A diffuse. So I'm going to select that one, double click it. For the uh, specular maps, very easy. Generate alpha from grayscale, hit apply. Go to the other one, do the same thing. Go back, we need the bump maps. So I'm going to take the A1A bump and apply it here. Call it to fix it. I'm going to use the same bump map for the other one. Okay, so we end up with that. Now these walls are going to share the same material basically. So if this one over here has this material, see that, which is the exterior wall A309, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply that same material. So do this very quickly and easily, I'm going to come up here to the mesh renderer, expand out the materials, and we have an element 0 and an element 1. There's two materials that go on this object. So you can see that one is, here it is, material 309, and the other one is material 275. So we're going to be applying those uh, materials to these objects. So I'll take this object here, and what I'll do is, 314 is on the top, so I'm going to go to that 309 material, and I'm going to drag and drop it right up here. And that was actually, that's the wrong material right there. So let me take 309, drop it on the bottom. Okay. And you can see that there appears to be some kind of a problem there with the UVs. Uh, that's because we need to do that UV swap again. Okay. So it looks like we're going we're gonna to have to do that. This object is the wall's exterior, which is all of this. So I'm going to go to wall's exterior over here, hit swap UVs, hit apply. That should fix it. There we go, it's fixed. So if you see something funny with the texture of the UVs, uh, just go ahead and fix it like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to this guy. And I'm going to apply the, uh, the materials again. So again, exterior wall A309, I'm going to share that material. And the reason I'm sharing the material, even though it may look like it's uh, cumbersome, is because the more materials I share, the better performance I'm going to get out of unit. So it's an optimization trick. So I'm going to go to this one over here, and I'm going to drop the material 309 on top right there, and then the 275 I'll drop on the bottom. We can see the really the real nice butt mapping that we have going on right there. This object is the facade C, so this one's pretty easy. I just need to go find a texture for that. So I'll go find uh, facade C, which is uh, this one right here. I'm going to make this a specular bump shader, bump specular, generate an alpha from grayscale. Go back to this, we need to apply a bump map to that. And the bump map that I'm going to use for that, let me see if I'm going to use the facade A. Could use the facade A. Yeah, facade A is the one I'm going to use, the facade A bump. I also have a facade D, which is basically the same thing, so I'm just going to use the facade A bump. I'm going to go to this object, and I'm just going to fast forward through. I think it's pretty easy. I think you get the idea now. I'm going to choose a bump specular here or any type of shader that you want. I'm going to go look for the facade A texture. This is right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that uh, that same facade A bump and apply it right there. Okay, there we go. So do the same thing for the rest of the facade and the outside of the warehouse. I'm going to fast forward through this. Okay, so I finished setting up all the materials for out here. Let me show you a couple of tricks here to fix some things that uh, may not look right. For example, 
Right here we can see this uh, loading dock area, basically it's a concrete piece. The texture looks okay, but it could look a lot better. It's basically uh, doesn't have a really high resolution. So let me show you a cool trick to uh, get around that and fix that. Okay. Instead of going back to something like Photoshop and trying to fix it there and wasting a whole bunch of time, something you can do to make this look even better is to use tiling. Okay. So we can see when I select the object, it's got a normal map. The normal map is what gives it this really cool bump effect. But right now it looks too looks wrong. The bump effect is too strong for this kind of object. It's basically the wrong scale. So I could take tiling and increase that to say five and five for the X and Y. And you can see the bump mapping gets a little bit tighter. It looks a little bit more realistic. Okay, looks a little bit finer, more detailed. So if I want something like ten and ten, I can get this really fine detail type of concrete look, which looks pretty cool. And I'm going to do the same thing for the uh, the stairs right here. So maybe like a 5 and 5 for the tiling right there uh, might help that to look a little bit more believable and more realistic. Uh, one other thing that I'm going to do over here is right now this is the wall's exterior. Okay. I have this object C, which you can see right here, which is uh, no good. I want to get rid of this object. Okay. So instead of deleting it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to Mesh Renderer and I'm going to turn it off so that that pretty much goes away. I could delete it but then I'm going to break the prefab don't want to do that so I'll just disable it in the mesh renderer so it's gone and this object here is the one I want to work with okay which should be this object that's up here see where it says fixed exterior wall C uh, that's sometimes when you go back and forth between your 3D program and, and Unity you might fix some things make some changes so you can update stuff like that uh, that's the case here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this guy here and give this say a maybe a bump specular would look good. Exterior wall C is what I'm looking for. So I'll go to exterior wall C, which is going to be this one right here. There we go, perfect. And I'm going to go grab the uh, bump map for it. Fix the bump map. You can see it looks uh, looks pretty cool. Really has a lot of detail to it. But I'm going to go to the specular map and generate an alpha from uh, from grayscale, make it look much better. Okay, so this takes care of the outside here. So I'm going to finish that here. I think you get the idea. So go ahead and get that all done if you haven't already. And in the next video, we'll just continue working with more materials.